21 Drops, essential oil therapy that helps you be your best self. Essential oils have been used for thousands of years. There's reference in the Bible about frankincense and myrrh, uh, many references back into Egyptian times. We know that essential oils were even known to be found in the tombs of many of the temples. And we have some examples here, even frankincense. Frankincense was ground up and used as incense. It's still used as incense today in ceremonial situations. A lot of churches and um, temples across the world still use frankincense because of its ability to quiet the mind. So these are all things that have been used for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, here we have fresh rosemary. Rosemary, Shakespeare writes of rosemary that that's for remembrance. And today we have Mark Moss in the UK studying and doing research about how rosemary is helping Alzheimer's patients and people with their memory and aptitude by inhaling the rosemary. And we have myrrh. Here's some myrrh resin. This also has great biblical reference and used to actually be worth its weight in gold in, in earlier centuries where uh, it was used as trade because of its antibacterial properties. So we have so many references of using essential oils throughout history in different plant parts for their healing purposes. And now we fast forward through the centuries and the resurgence of aromatherapy really began in the early 1900s with René Maurice Gattafosse, who was a chemist working in a lab in France, and he burnt his arm and plunged it quickly into a vat of what he thought was actually water to cool off his arm, but it ended up that it was lavender oil, and he saw on his burnt skin how that lavender essential oil actually helped his healing go much, much faster. So that reignited this whole science of essential oil therapy in the 20th century. So every history book mentions Gattafossi's name because he really did then was so fascinated by this that he really made it a life study and brought more and more of his uh, friends in the chemical world into studying essential oils. So now that we've covered how essential oils have been used throughout history, let's learn how we use them in today's world.